Hello, Coles. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We are going to begin with Rafinha as manager Xavi wants the exit link Barca star to stay despite the Barca board's desire to sell him. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking on this other huge update about Ronald Araujo as the Barca defender could become the captain next season due to two attributes. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the story in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have a squad of a haul at their hands ahead of the summer transfer window as they look to offload some stars in the hopes of raising money through player sales. They have been asked to reduce the wage bill by at least $200 million to meet financial fair play requirements and economic feasibility plan has been submitted though and it will likely be approved on the 19th of May. The list of players on their transfer list is rather long with the club looking to sell the likes of Ferran Torres and Sofati, Frank Isier and Eric Garcia among others. It also contains Rafinha, who is garnering interest from the Premier League. He was close to joining Chelsea before Barcelona latched on to the deal and signed him for around 60 million euros last summer. Despite the board's desire to sell him, Javi wants Rafinha to continue as per report by UOL. Rafinha has been in top form for Barca all season, scoring 7 goals and giving 7 assists in the league across 32 appearances. Why he is not Xavi's first choice for the right wing, he has filled in brilliantly for Usman Dembele, who missed three months of football due to injury recently. Newcastle United are one of the parties interested in Rafinha um, and have sent in a verbal proposal for around 80 million euros in La Liga. La Liga are also aware about the proposal at Barca. They have already accounted for it in the financial feasibility plan sent to them. Arsenal and Chelsea are also keeping tabs on the player and could enter a bidding war for his services. Why it is well documented that Rafinha does not want to leave the club a season after joining, but there have also been contradictory reports claiming that he is open to offers. Rafinha have been having a season full of ups and downs. If you ask me personally, I think Rafinha have been have been doing well, especially towards the end of the season, and especially as Usman Dembele have been absent through injury. And I think it would be quite harsh. It will be quite harsh if Barca were to sell this guy. I think he still has a lot in in in, in his boots to 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 provide for Barca. And I think next season, which will be his second season. He might be more better than this season. Of course, Rafinha is that guy who is a self-critical person. We also see from when, when he's been substituted, he shows his anger. Like, I'm not playing well. I'm not happy with myself about this. Even though sometimes he has attitude problems, but he needs to solve such. But I think that Rafinha shouldn't be sold. I've been saying this in my, in my last videos, that Rafinha still has a lot. And I think if Barca sell this guy, it's not going to be a, a very good decision. And I'm not surprised about the fact that manager Javi wants him to stay. I think Rafinha have been doing well in Dembele's absence. Um, Dembele was out for almost four months due to injury and have been back recently. But the fact that Dembele have returned, Javi have continued to start Rafinha ahead of Dembele. And I think Rafinha have been doing quite well. And Dembele, whenever he comes to the pitch, I don't see Dembele having anything since he came back from injury, no impact whatsoever in any of the games he has played for since that time. And I think that Rafinha is, is doing so well right now, even though there have been a time when he was out of form completely, being criticized by, by, uh, by, by those Barca fans who don't have patience. I still believe that we should just have time, give this guy patience, he will do it well. I think Brazilians have had a good record be, be playing to Barca. And I don't think Rafinha should be any exception. So Newcastle United have been showing interest for Rafinha. And it is no secret that Newcastle want to bring him in the Premier League next season. But Rafinha is not 
a, a, a player who wants to give up that easily even though contradictory reports as i earlier said have been claiming that rafinha is open to the offers because he is scared that next season there will be no space for him especially if messi comes and join the club but i don't think that should be the case i think rafinha is not that kind of person i think um, I will go with the report of Rafinha not willing to leave and still wants to stay because we're just playing for Barca for one more season, which have been his dream also to play for this huge club. I think it's a disaster. I think he needs to be there. But of course, player sales will take place. There is no doubt about that. But who are those to leave? Nobody can say at this point in time. But for Rafinha to leave, if you ask me personally, I say, look, that guy should be there. Give him one more season. If you think he doesn't deserve it, then you sell him. Then on to the final story of discussion, Barcelona will need to appoint a new captain next season. Now that Sergio Busquets has confirmed he will be leaving at the end of the season. The 34-year-old is in the current first captain at Spotify Camp Nou. His departure will see Sergio Roberto take over the reins from him, with Jody Alba and Mark andre Ter Stegen moving up around each of the ladder. That would leave the fourth captaincy spot vacant for next season, with several names such as Corona Araujo, Robert Lewandowski, and Usman Dembele being discussed as potential candidates. And now, Ferran Correa's of Sport is reporting that Araujo could end up becoming the fourth captain of Football Club Barcelona next season due to two main attributes his growth and his character. Signed from Boston River back in 2018, the Uruguayan was initially a part of the Barca Athletic setup before breaking into the senior team a year later. It was during the 2020-21 campaign that he probably flourished through by the time um, Javi took over the reins in 2021, he had become a permanent fixture in the Barcelona defence. Time and again, over the past couple of years, Ronald Araujo has demonstrated his leadership qualities and commitment to the Barcelona badge. Speaking after the club's La Liga triumph, which was sealed with a win over Espanyol on Sunday, Araujo had said, I will forever be in love with Barcelona. We are a big family here. The most important part is winning titles during the course of the game on Sunday night at the Conella El Prat and even afterwards during the celebrations, Arahogo leadership and come, had come to the fall. At 24, he has shown that he can be a leader of the team on and off the pitch. At the same time, the growth in his game and the development in his statue over the past couple of seasons have been spectacular. All things considered, the Uruguayan international could be a strong contender for the captaincy role next season when Busquets beats Edio to the Blaugrana. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.